Okay, geometry, chapter one, section three. This is example six, the last example. You'll want to watch at least the first two of these so, to make sure you got the idea. Uh, find the measure of BC if B is the midpoint of AC. If B is the midpoint of AC, you know that AB and BC are the same distance because of the definition of midpoint. Again, we read this. Find the measure of segment BC if B is the midpoint of segment AC. Okay. So A segment AB has to be the same measure as segment BC because of the definition of midpoint. And note that I, I'm using certain words here and wording that will come important again when we start doing proofs here. So this is the definition of midpoint tells us that AB is the same measure as BC. So if they're the same measure, that means we can take um, we can take the measure of AB and set it equal to the measure of BC. So 4x minus 5 has to be equal to 11 plus 2x. From there, it's pretty easy to solve. So we would uh, get the x's together. 4x is bigger than 2x, so I'm going to subtract 2x from both sides. So minus 2x. That would leave 2x minus 5 equals 11. Then you need to add 5 to both sides to get the x by itself. And so then you have 2x is equal to 16. And final step here would be to divide by 2 and divide by 2. And you end up with um, x is equal to 8. Once you have x is equal to 8, it says find the measure of BC. BC is from B all the way to C. So it's this one right here. We have x, right? So we can fill x in. So that would be 11 plus 2 times 8. And so 11 plus 16 would be 27. And it doesn't have any units on it, so we can actually use naked numbers in this case because it is no units on original numbers. So final answer is the measure of BC is equal to 27. Okay, let's do a little bit harder one here. Uh, what's the measure of PR if Q is the midpoint, Q is midpoint? That means that this segment over here and this segment over here are the same length. That means two of these, this would also be a 6 minus 3x, right? Two of those would be equal to 1 of this 4x plus 2. So you can either write two of them added together or you can write two of the 6 minus 3x's would be equal to the 14x plus 2. Okay, they are the same length. They should add together and give you the big one. So this would become 12 minus 6x equals 14x plus 2. Get your x's together. 14x is bigger than negative 6x. So I'm going to add 6x to both sides. Bring the 12 down. The 6x's cancel. 14x plus 6x is 20x plus 2. Um, oh, I forgot my x here. Put my x back on there. Okay, so then subtract 2 from both sides. And you get 10 is equal to 20x. Then you need to divide both sides by 20 to get the x by itself. Oops, by the 20. Divide by the 20, and you get 1 half is equal to x. But it didn't ask you what x is. Remember, make sure you go back and read the question. What is the measure of PR? PR is from here all the way over here, right? So that's that 14x plus 2. 14x plus 2 is what we're looking for. That's what PR is. So that would be 14 times 1 half 
because that's what we decided x was, plus 2. So that's 7 plus 2. Final answer is PR. The measure of PR is equal to 9. And again, we've got no units on it, so that's the best we can do. Book says measure of segment PR is equal to 9 units. I guess you could put the word units on here. And there's our final answer. Okay, one more of those. If you've got it already, you're good. You can turn this off. Otherwise, you want to watch one more time. Uh, what's the measure of AC? AC is from here all the way over to there, so we're looking for this measure. We know B is the midpoint, so this segment here and that segment over there are the same measure. Um, you could, um, you know that this is 2A minus 1 also. Uh, this one I'll do the other way. You could add these two together. So 2A minus 1 plus a 2A minus 1 is equal to a 3A plus 1. If you don't like the multiplication I did in the last problem, you can add them. Adding two of the same numbers is the same thing as multiplying by 2. So this becomes 4A minus 2 is equal to 3A plus 1. Okay, get our variables on the same side. To get the variables on the same side, 4a is bigger than 3a, so I move the 3a. So I'm going to subtract 3a from this side, subtract 3a from this side. That becomes 1a minus 2. The 3a's drop out is equal to 1. Next thing I need to do is get rid of the 2, so I'm going to add 2 to both sides. And you get A is equal to 3. Again, not the final answer. What is the measure of AC is what we're looking for. AC is the whole thing. The whole thing is a 3A plus 1. So that's going to be 3 times 3 plus 1, which is 9 plus 1. So your answer is 10 units. And that's going to be equal to AC, the measure of, oops, the measure of segment AC is 10 units. Final answer. Be very careful this entire year with making sure you answer the question that is being asked.